Hey y'all, Farmer Dre back at it. I am out here in the strawberries. And today I'm gonna go ahead and share a little secret that most people don't know about strawberries. Getting out here in the field, I wanna go ahead and show you guys these plants real quick and how the whole field is churning out. As you guys can see here, everything is growing wonderfully, growing nicely. These plants are, I mean, they're amazing. I am very, very happy by the growth. These plants are growing nicely. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. If you guys haven't seen the video of us planting these strawberries, go ahead and check it out. I'm probably going to leave a video down in the description box below for you guys to see exactly how we planted these. We planted three different varieties this year. The varieties we did plant, we planted Sweet Charlie's, uh, Ruby June, and Chandler. I've grown Chandler. This is my third year in a row growing Chandler. I've never grown Ruby June or uh, Sweet Charlie's. Last year, I grew the Roccos, which I really loved and enjoyed. But unfortunately, we had some issues with the nursery and they couldn't get any plant in stock. So this year, uh, different varieties. But so far, so good. Um, these plants are enjoying it. In the fall, variety doesn't really matter as much. Just trying to develop those crowns trying to grow the plant out as much as possible so that in the spring when they start blooming we start seeing a lot of flower buds and of course start seeing the production that we need to see on this annual plastic culture strawberry system charlie's were planted early these are planted right after labor day we got quite a few done that first day we planted i have uh the first 15 rows here are sweet charlie the last rows there are ruby june and then of course here in block two we have the Ruby June and Chandler. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys those real quick here. Here are the Ruby June here. They're also looking phenomenal as well. Nice dark green, healthy plants. I've been keeping them watered, keeping them fertilizer, uh, to keep, uh, pumping them fertilizers for them to grow. Uh, this is beautiful. I mean, they say that third time is a charm and it's definitely like that growing strawberries. This is my third year ever planting strawberries. And so far, so good. You hit it good on the third time. So let's hope that we don't get hit by the frost anymore. We have a nice mild fall so that, you know, the third time of charm on yield will be exactly what we want to, what we want and want to project. And then of course, Ruby June right here, we got the Chandler, which were a smaller plant from the nursery. I'll show you guys those. And uh, so block number two here is uh, Ruby June and Chandler. And block three back there, that is uh, all Chandler. So right here, those are Ruby June, and these these rows here are Chandler. As you guys remember, uh, these plants are a whole lot smaller, but with planting them a little earlier and uh, starting them on the fertilizer, they are growing. Look at this, absolutely beautiful. We got 25,000 Chandler. This is the bulk of our crop here. So this is what's gonna... Uh, do us good here so overall very 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 happy of how the fall is turning out uh planting date is everything so you know just keep on living and learning the reason we planted three different varieties of strawberries so the sweet charlies are early those will be uh, blooming earlier than the rest of them so we're gonna we're planning on and if everything works out if the spring works out good uh we're hopefully we're gonna start harvesting the uh, the sweet charlies first about the middle of april a few days later, that's when the Ruby Junes will start coming on. And there's about a 10 days uh, between the Ruby June and Chandler. Uh, so, you know, that is the ideal, uh, the ideal uh, plan out there. But, you know, in farming, that doesn't ever work out. Uh, of course, there's going to be a lot of overlap because whenever you start harvesting these strawberries, it takes anywhere from four to six weeks for the entire plant to go through a cycle. And these are all day... Uh, uh, not day neutral these are all june bearing bearing varieties june bearing meaning they're gonna produce a crop once in the spring and then be done for they're called june bearing because up north michigan and canada that's when they harvest their strawberries here in southwest missouri we harvest our strawberries end of april and in, into may and then by the first week of june we're done we're done with strawberries it gets too hot the plants the the blooms can't pollinate and uh, that's it so with these three different varieties that's what the plan is and the goal is to start early and have enough strawberries until about the first or second week of june so with growing strawberries there are many uh tricks the tray that you just learned from trial and error like i said it's my third year doing it and one of the little secrets i want to go ahead and share with you guys about growing strawberries 
And for you guys, the home gardeners, if you guys wanna plant a few strawberries and you guys don't need to plant 45,000 like I do, uh, this will help you uh, multiply your strawberry plants and have more and more. For us here on our farm, we do grow the annual plastic culture system. So we replant strawberries every single fall. So we go through, we plant them in the fall, we develop all the crowns, they go ahead and bloom, they flower in the spring, we go ahead and harvest, and then that, that process is done. So it's a nine month process. And then every single year, we repeat the same thing. Uh, strawberries are a perennial plant. They'll live for many, many years. But research shows that uh, from, a, from a production standpoint, for me as a farmer growing these to make a living, uh, they're the most productive in their first year. So that's why we replant every single fall. But for you guys, the home gardener, or if you guys just have a few strawberry plants, um, what you guys can do, and I'll show you guys here, um, so you guys can go ahead and, you know, multiply your plants and not have to worry about rebuying plants like we do and just make it easier for you to extend, uh, expand your, your strawberry patch. Three plants, like I mentioned, they're a perennial plant. They live for many, many years. So if we leave these plants here, they'll live uh, three, four, five, six years. But like I said, we're selling the berries and not the plants. So we need these strawberry plants to produce those berries. But if you're just having the plants in your home garden and you're not worried about producing, you know, the strawberries to make a living off of, one way, and this is a secret that many people don't know, is you can multiply your plants from the mother plants themselves. So these are the plants that we planted here. They are beautiful plug plants. And you can see here, these plants here produce runners. And these are the runners or daughter plants, as many people want to call them. I don't remember the scientific term exactly. But what we do here on our farm in the fall, we go through about once or twice in the fall, and we go ahead and pull off these runners, just pluck them like that. And these runners for us are no good. We want all the energy and power to go to producing flower buds inside that crown there instead of producing uh, uh, daughter plants or runners. So we go through here and pull all of these uh, runners off just like that. And these are no good to us. But for you guys, what you guys can do is this right here is an entire different plant. So if you want to pull off um, these runners here, wait until they're a little bigger, you know, pull off the, this runner like this and put this in the ground. This will produce an entire complete different strawberry plant and then it'll end up like this. So that's how we get in the plants or we buy them from a nursery that does propagate them. They have special blocks that they get these runner tips, put them in the cell count trays for us. They propagate them. They grow the roots. We get the plants with the root system and the dirt and everything. And then we put it in here. But this is pretty much a free strawberry plant uh, for next year. So if you want, like I said, we, we don't do anything with them because like we're not interested in, in into the plant. We're not we're not growing plants to make a profit. We're growing uh, the plants to grow the fruit, and then we sell the fruit for a profit, not the plant. So we go through here once or twice a fall, and all these runners like this, we pluck them off and we just kind of throw them in the middle of the row. And then whenever my guys are going through here, we have them pull the weeds in the grass. Uh, we don't use any pre-emergent herbicides to prevent any weeds from growing. So that's one of the biggest deals. But like I said, these runners here, these are free plants for next year or for this fall. There's plenty of time now in the fall. It's just the first week of October where you could grab these plants here, these runners, and grow your stock for next year. This is a perfect example. You know, this is a runner plant here. And this, as you guys can see here, it's already calyxed over. So that thing right there, is gonna go ahead and, let me see if I can zoom in here, or focus, maybe not. Anyways, right there, if you put this in the soil, in the dirt, and make sure they have plenty of water nutrients, this right here is gonna produce an entire different plant, and then you don't have to worry about buying in the plants every year, because you have the plants already here. You're probably thinking, yo, Farmer Dre, why don't you just save the runners, and then use them for next year instead of have to, uh, having to buy in the plants every single fall. Uh, there's one reason we do not propagate our own plugs and that is because if the mother strawberry plant already produced the fruit, you have a, a much more, a, a bigger chance of catching disease into those next year's crops. And like I said, uh, we grow, we sell the fruit and not the plants themselves. So, you know, customers in 2022 are, and, and you know, in the past few years, 
they buy with their eyes so if you don't have a pretty product if there's any kind of speck or um, a spot on your product they're most likely not going to buy it so here on our farm our goal here is to have the most healthiest and the prettiest berries possible because that is what sells to the customers and i've been told uh, i have never tried it myself uh, to save runners from one year to another but i've been told that if you save runners from one year to another you have a big chance of carrying disease from one planting to another and with strawberries they are a very expensive uh, crop to plant uh, you can spend uh, a whole lot of money anywhere you know ten to fifteen thousand dollars per acre to plant strawberries and for you to plant them and then in the spring you have a big disease issue coming through then it's kind of um you know it's it's you're pretty much shooting yourself in the foot uh the plug plants that we get in uh the nurseries who grow them they are a certified nursery and they 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 certify every single plant to be disease free and they guarantee their disease free plants so that whenever me the farmer plant them i don't have any issue in the fall or in the spring with disease but like i said uh if you're just planting a few strawberries in your home garden and you're not too worried about you know having a perfect beautiful strawberry then you can save strawberries from one year to another it's a it's a cool little thing that strawberries do they live on for many many years but the industry we're in with the plastic culture and everything you know it, it requires us to replant in the fall and to get a new fresh stock of, uh, of plants every year but you know if it was um if we wouldn't have had the availability of plants we would have been forced as the farmers to keep the plugs uh, keep the runner plants and replant the same plants uh same runners every fall so we're going to come through here uh and pull off these runners here in about a week or so and make sure there's no weeds growing in between the plants there and then we should be good to go we're hoping that this fall is fairly smooth we don't get a a, a dramatic uh drop in temperature we can put on the row covers and then in the spring lord willing these will start blooming and produce me some nice beautiful good looking strawberries Alrighty, y'all this is gonna be it for today just a quick little video and a little tip for you guys there if you guys are having your own strawberries at home keep those runners keep your plants growing and you should be good to go so this is where i'm gonna go ahead and end off the video if you guys haven't already go and hit that subscribe button smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever i do upload a video i want to say thanks for watching up to this point y'all have a good day and we will see you next time <music>